Hi, we are The Fights, a family of four plus our furry friend, Beirut. Four years ago, we bought our van, Edison, and turned it into a tiny home on wheels. We've been full-time van lifers ever since. We've traveled to 49 different states, but we finally found a place to call home. We're in the Rocky Mountains building a creative retreat. And we're excited to share it with you. This week, we're working on our tiny music, music studio, enjoying some fresh powder. And a little someone might even take his first step. We're starting off the week, hitting the ground running. Mars is watching the kids. And I get to paint this beautiful ceiling. We decided to paint it white to kind of brighten up the space. And for now, we're just gonna leave the walls all pine. So I think it'll be a really pretty contrast. Let's see how it goes. But first, I have to get some feeling back in my fingers. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it is freaking cold. Last night, it got down to like negative seven degrees. Okay, I can feel my fingers again. So time to stir up that paint and get the ceiling done. This looks really good. All right. I'll take it over from here. All right, now Mars is gonna work on the floors because once we have some nice floors in here and it's not covered in sawdust and tools, we'll have a nice little place to lounge. Yep. Mm. So I'm gonna hand off this guy. Oh, he misses me. Come here. Mommy's gone all day. All day. It's better now. Yeah. Alice, you're gonna really enjoy hanging out in here, buddy. Mm -hmm, you will. All right, let's go. That's all I'm gonna do for tonight. But I pretty much got the whole room. <laughs> Come back in the morning, make some cuts, fill in these last few pieces, and our floors are done. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in the Rocky Mountains. It's kind of kind of a cuddle morning this morning, and you know. Every once in a while you just need one of those. You just need to wake up and then just hug each other's neck for a little while and then have some coffee and fruit. <laughs> We are taking a slow day today. Mars and I are actually both kind of feeling under the weather. My neck hurts so bad, and I realized, I was like, why does my neck hurt so bad? It's like literally because I was looking up at a ceiling painting yesterday, and like my rotator cuff's all sore. I'm like, I'm just not in shape to paint ceilings. It's like Snoke Apocalypse 2021, so. 
We're just taking it nice and slow, having a nice family day today. Today is one of those days where I feel like we progressed very little on anything, um, but it was really nice to just relax. Mars and the kids are watching Lion King in the camper, and I'm making us some salmon tacos because it's Taco Tuesday. Wait, what? Dude, dog hair is in my coffee. His hair is in everything. It's in like your soup and your coffee. Are you saying you don't love him? I'm saying I hate <laughs> his hair in my coffee. It's disgusting. <laughs> Yummy. It's not like the seasoning. Beirut. Yeah. Splash of Beirut. Splash of Beirut. <laughs> What's the plan today? To grow ourselves. What grow as a family. <laughs> grow as a species. Stop. No, it's like a real plan. <laughs> a real plan. Um, I just have like a couple pieces left on the floor. Uh, gotta scoot some things around in there, organize a little bit in the studio room. Um, and I mean, at this point, like I have a, a couple outlets to wire up, and we're still waiting on the windows to come in. <sighs> And then just enjoy the beautiful snow around us. That sounds like a good plan to me. What do you think? It's another beautiful day here out in the Rockies. We got about two inches of snow last night and it's just all over all these trees. It's so incredibly pretty and magical. Hey, what do you want to do? Dance party. You want to do a dance party? No, I mean, I do want to do a dance party, but that's not what I was going to say. We should get the tractor going. The tractor? All I have to do is jump it. And if we give it a little jump, we got a little plow on the front of it, and we actually see what it can do. We have a plow on it? Yeah, there's a blade on the front of it. <laughs> Oh, good there. Oh, that's some good news for today. If I had a dollar for every time I swept the bed, I could buy myself a new mattress. That sounds really gross, but it's honestly just the truth about living in a van. Which reminds me, in the next van, I'm gonna build a convertible table to bed because it'd be so nice to have a table in here during the day rather than using our bed as a table all day long. Oh, dude. What's up? Um, 
found a paw print. Um, yeah, I just found a paw print next to the garbage can. There's no garbage in it. We don't leave it out if there's uh, garbage in it, but, um, yeah, three. Just about this size, just, a, yeah, like that. Just choop, right perfectly in the uh, snow, right next to it, and it's fresh. So something's around here. But what has like three, I mean, does the llama? Is the llama two or three? Okay, well, we're just gonna go check this out because I really don't know what this is, but uh, it's, it's around here. It's around here somewhere. And uh, well, we do have a llama. And it has, yeah, I actually see the llama prints around here too. He must have, we call him Yogananda Llama. But anyway, dude, here he goes, right here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that right there? There's one, two, three. What is that? If anybody knows, please leave a comment uh, so we can know too. So Mars just came back with the three claw footprint and I'm pretty convinced it's a rabbit. I don't, I think it's two feet and like a bunny tail. So how about you guys weigh in and let me know what you guys think that is because I think it's a harmless rabbit. He thinks it's a mysterious creature, so. All right, you guys have fun. <laughs> Everly likes to turn our van into a jungle gym. Uh -huh. What would you call it? Jungle gym. A jungle gym. She takes all the pillows. Playhouse. A playhouse. Man. That's something I'm looking forward to having whenever we have a house. Is her to have her own room to kind of turn into a jungle gym. Even though... I know, she'll probably try turning the living room into one. Look at this. Look at all these pillows everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
Well, this has kind of been a pretty chill week for us, but I mean, we finished up for the most part on this studio, and that feels great. I mean, I still got a little trim work to do, and then we got to put in the windows, but I mean, for the most part, it's done. I mean, I can stretch out my arms in here and spin around. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, man, it's funny, dude. It's such a simple thing. It's so simple. It's just a small little one-room studio, but man, after four years of being in the van, and now we're like two kids and a dog. Oh my God. <laughs> feels great. Yeah. We're creating a space to uh, just create and do fun stuff in all sorts of capacities, but particularly music with this room, so. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no and more chilly days just spent in the van. Yeah. It's a hard one, guys. It's really hard. Just being cooped up in the van with the kids when there's snow everywhere and it's cold. It's not easy. Not easy. So here's to a little bit easier better. days. Okay. Well, all right. Take care. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye.